So Jay, you're up next, and give me a second. Let me just think. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, beat, beat that, Jay. Beat that. <laughs> Can no I just pressure, say Jay. what Jamie said? Just put me next to it. Just say what Jamie said. <laughs> I'm gonna build a spot. Thought maybe you could help. He was stationed on a supply train that got robbed last night. Only one type of crit I know that could fly him up there. Ah! You think a pigs did this? Who else? I'm not police. Not anymore. I can't help you. Carnival Rose season two in 60 seconds. It's basically season two 2.0. It's more action, more romance, more adventure, more crime solving, more conflict. It's everything more extreme. It will take you on a huge adventure through the road and follows all the characters that you love from season one on a huge journey. The world of Carnival Row evolves. We get to experience the row and all the characters of the row going on a deeper journey. Philo has embraced his face self, but of course that isn't as straightforward as one would think. I and mean, he goes on a deep internal journey. His love story with Vignette continues and vexes and complexes. And we see the characters really struggle to survive what is the oppressive nature of the world that they live in and yet come out thriving. The core of this season is actually love and passion and what you're willing to fight for and what you believe in. We've got Vignette and Philo and the Black Ravens who are fighting to get off the row. Then you've got Jonah and Sophie who are actually fighting to keep their power. Imogen Negreus who are fighting for the freedom to love and so, so much more. You follow so many new characters and new murder mysteries to follow. Loads of twists and turns, lots of unexpected things happening that um, I think will be quite shocking. The tensions in the Berg are higher than ever. Jonah and Sophie are cracking down on Critch and the row itself like never before, whilst also being locked into a battle of wits and wiles of their own. It's a crazy, crazy, crazy um, end to a journey where we get to see people's, I say, identities explored. I would say Carnival Row season two is kind of an unraveling for Imogen, definitely, and I think Agraeus and Ezra as well. There are some secrets that get revealed about themselves, things they'd rather have kept hidden. And that unraveling, that sort of string that unravels slowly across the, the 10 episodes that uh, takes them on quite a winding, weaving journey that's a little bit tangled at times. The question really is, will they untangle themselves by the end of the show, or will they tie themselves in knots? Season two, is about truths and having to figure out what matters to characters as individuals, what matters to the society and the community that is the row and beyond. With that at its heart, with all of the daring and leaps into crazy situations and crazy worlds, let's see where we end. I think Carnival Rose season two takes the whole story to a, a larger worldwide level of the oppression of society, of how the rich and the political and the powerful look down upon what they regard as the smaller people. It's a bold, dark look at humanity. And then you have the, the radical new society who offer a supposed freedom for all and equality. And yet, is there something behind what they're saying that has a different, nastier element? I think what fans are going to take away from season two is that they're going to see a lot of heightened tension, high stakes. They're going to see worldly issues being told through this fantasy world. I think there's going to be something for everyone to relate to. And they're going to hopefully walk away from season two to have a lot to talk about. I'd say the journey that us characters get to go on in season two is well, it's unexpected for me when I read the scripts, it was very unexpected. Um, and I think for you guys, it will be an unexpected roller coaster ride that ends in a lot of characters finding things out about themselves that they don't necessarily even want to know. It's a wonderful show and it takes on different meaning um, than season one. And it leaves you, I think, with a lot of, uh, a lot of thoughts. You definitely will not be disappointed um, by this epic, amazing, magical conclusion to the Carnival Row World. There is a lot that I can't really say because I want you to see it, but it's, I'm so proud of it. It's going to be amazing. Please watch it because you will not, not regret it at all.
We are a nation under attack from within. It is my duty to send a message to any critch considering sedition. A gift from the Chancellor to the fine people of the row. Executed without even a trial, innocent men. It's your decision. The world's falling apart and we can't just sit at home and do nothing. What have you got in mind? Take a closer look at what you're doing to us. I thought if we were peaceful, they'd show us mercy. But now we know the truth. If they shoot at us, nail our heads against a wall, they will pay for it in their own blood. If you go after them, they'll come for all of us. The whole row will burn. No one can stand in the way of what is coming. They all human.